Hello students, welcome back to Joshua Planet and again this is yet another important question that is AC generator and DC motor and I had already uploaded a video on this since you all told that there's some problem in the sound I am redoing the video uh, so let us go with it so first I am taking AC generator which can be asked for 3 or 4 marks in your board exam so when such question is asked I will tell you the way you need to answer so that you will be impressing the person who corrects your paper. So the first one what you need to do is draw a good diagram, a basic diagram where it is scientifically correct. Yes and then you have to attempt the question in point wise. Attempting the question in point wise is very very important. The reason is first thing it makes your answer look very attractive. So the person who is correcting your paper will feel that the child knows everything that's why the child is represented in a beautiful point wise manner so it's not only for this question for all the question try attempting the answer point wise and i'll tell you what are the points you can make for this specific question see the first thing how you start the answer is definition how will you explain what is generator you have to first tell what is a generator and as you all know generator is a device which converts mechanical energy to electrical energy what do you mean by mechanical energy the energy what you are providing example if this is the armature you try to rotate the armature right so the the mechanical energy is required to turn the armature and what do you mean by electrical energy electrical energy is the energy that you get so here we have fixed a galvanometer in this electric generator so that you can detect whether the current is come or not the current is produced or not clear so that would be your first point you start with a generator and next you will start with principle the next point would be principle so you will beautifully write the definition of generator in two or three lines and then leave a line and then start saying its principle and start from the next line and mark it as a point so the next point what you have to tell is on what principle does your AC generator works it works on the principle electromagnetic induction and what is this electromagnetic induction you need to explain that also and again you need to see for how many marks the question is asked so if at all the question is asked for four or five marks then you need to write a little more and when the question is asked for three marks then you can just say it works on the principle electromagnetic induction that would be your first point and also you have it obeys Fleming's right hand rule that would that would be sufficient for the principle because it's asked only for three marks if it is asked for four or five marks then you will say what is electromagnetic induction and electromagnetic induction definition can also be asked for two marks so what is the definition of electromagnetic induction it is the phenomenon of producing current or inducing current where in a conductor when it is placed in changing magnetic field so I'll, I'll just try to make it very simple how will you produce current the electromagnetic induction is nothing but the process how you produce current okay first how will you produce current you take a conductor conductor is a simple wire imagine the marker what I'm holding in my hand is a simple conductor so what do you have to do with this conductor you need to take two magnets as you have to here in the diagram the generator diagram there are magnets the pole of the magnet here I have named it as north pole and south pole you are just taking two magnets keeping your conductor in this and you are showing the change you have to just keep this conductor in the magnetic field take it out keep it in take it out so as you keep doing this this conductor cuts the magnetic lines of force correct so when it is cut, cutting the magnetic lines of force there is some current induced in this conductor this is a simple way how we can produce current the same thing you will explain here what is electromagnetic induction it's a phenomenon of inducing current what is inducing current it's producing current clear so it's the phenomenon of producing current in a conductor when it is placed in changing magnetic field clear so if you understand what actually you're doing it's really easy for you to write the definition you can also frame your own definition if you know something so it's very important for you to understand the concept clear so the second point on the principle is a principle under which you will write it works on the principle electromagnetic induction and you will also explain 
what is electromagnetic induction and also the second point under principle would be Fleming's right hand rule. I have seen people writing electric generator works on the principle Fleming's right hand rule. No, it doesn't work on the principle but it follows Fleming's right hand rule. So the second point in the principle would be this. It obeys Fleming's right hand rule. You need to explain what Fleming's right hand rule states and this I have already put it on another video where I have summarized all the important laws of your uh, syllabus and I have put that. You can also watch that video in order to know and in order to learn all the important laws. I will still tell you what does Fleming's right hand rule says. So Fleming's right hand rule says that you take your right hand, take three fingers and you arrange them in such a way that they are mutually perpendicular to each other. When you arrange so, what does it indicate? See the way I have represented the law here. Fleming's right hand rule, see stretch three fingers of your right hand mutually perpendicular to each other. See, thumb and my forefinger are mutually perpendicular. And similarly, my forefinger and the middle finger also are mutually perpendicular. Thumb and the middle finger also are mutually perpendicular. So, each finger is perpendicular to each other. In such a way, you are arranging. Then, look at this. The three finger states each so one direction. So, all the three fingers I have mentioned in three different points. I don't want you to write like a paragraph. It, it just messes up. Clear? So, if you write in three beautiful points like this, even the person who looks at it can correct it without any confusion. Clear? So, you will represent that in three beautiful points like this. So, you again, let us see now what does this three finger indicates. See, the thumb indicates the direction of motion of conductor. Here, if you take, this is the conductor. The thumb indicates which direction you are rotating the armature. Is it towards the left side or towards the right side? Or it is clockwise or anti-clockwise. That is what your thumb indicates. If it is towards the left side, you will show the direction of thumb this side. If it is towards the right side, you will show it towards this side. Clear? And what does the forefinger indicate? And forefinger indicates the magnetic field. So magnetic field direction should always be shown from north to south. So it should always be like this. Clear? So, th this is north to south. If at all in your diagram you have written this is north and this is south, then you will point your forefinger like this. Clear? And when you have two directions, so in this you already get the direction of motion of conductor because it's you who are giving the motion. Correct? And it's you who are having the magnetic field also. So, you will know the direction of these two. Then you should see in which direction does your middle finger indicate. So in this direction your current will be induced. So middle finger will show you the direction of induced current. Clear? So this is what Fleming's right hand rule states. And the next thing what you will write is working. Now in the working what you will do is it's as simple as so. You are just taking this Fleming's right hand rule, putting it in your diagram and stating the directions. That's all. Clear? Now we will, we will check it with the diagram. See, have a close look on the diagram. You have the armature. So, why have I name, named it A, B, C, D? The ends of the armature have named it as A, B, C, D. So that you can represent the answer in this, in this letters A, B, C, D like that. Clear? And you also have the brushes and the rings. Brushes I will call it as B1 and B2. Rings I will call it as R1 and R2. See, what ring does AC generator use? It uses, this is R1 and R2, clear? So, what uh, rings does rings use? Sorry, what rings does AC generator use? It uses slip rings. Slip rings you can imagine as two bangles. A simple bangle that is on this. So, it will rotate, the complete bangle will be rotating like this, clear? So, one ring is connected to one brush. Another ring is connected to another brush. And these two are connected to a galvanometer. Yeah, we will now see the working. How the working is done in case of electric generator. I will explain this working first so that you understand. And then you can write on your own words. I will still write it here. And I will uh, so that you can take a screenshot of that and learn from that as well. So first before writing it is important for you to understand. So understand, concentrate now. Imagine that this is the armature, correct? So if this armature is rotating like this, see in which direction I am rotating? 
am rotating in anti clockwise direction clear and the magnetic lines of field runs uh, i mean the magnetic lines of force runs from north to south clear the, this one we already know sign conventions the magnetic lines of force always runs from north to south now when i am rotating it like this imagine you have four sides a b c d where i have written neo pack here something is written right so i will consider this is a side cd and the other side will be your side ab clear now i am rotating like this and magnetic lines of force are running from north to south so my side ab is also going from north to south so is it cutting the magnetic lines no because it's going along with the magnetic lines of force but see what's happening to side cd here cd is coming from south to north of the magnet right and magnetic lines of force are coming from north to south so don't you think they are cutting they are cutting each other like this so no, this side cd cuts the magnetic lines of force in fast half rotation clear now let us check where is this side cd connected so here our side cd produced current here now because it's cutting magnetic lines of force so where is this connected it is connected to brush 2 and ring 2 got it so the current passes in this direction and comes here and you will see galvanometer showing deflection towards this side clear and now continue the rotation it rotated like this now cd went that side okay now what happens you are you are continuing the rotation cd comes like this now which way the cd is rotating see carefully it's going from north to south so cd will not cut now right cd also will go along with the magnetic field lines but who is cutting it's ab who is cutting so in the next half of the rotation the side ab cuts the magnetic lines of force clear so when side ab cuts magnetic lines of force where is ab connected to it's connected to brush 1 and ring 1 right so now the current is passed through this direction got it and where is the what does galvanometer show deflection it shows deflection towards that side right so in just one complete rotation one half of the rotation one side produce current other half of the rotation other side produce current therefore the current produced is not uniform the current produces alternating correct so one side here one side here so the current changes its direction every half rotation you can expect a multiple choice question here how how does the current change in ac generator or in ac motor wherever you have this word ac alternating current every half rotation the current the direction of the current changes clear so here the galvanometer how does the deflection show for one rotation it will show two two deflections like this clear that's why you call it as ac current the current produced by ac generator where you are using slip rings this is called as slip rings so slip rings are something they are two bangles two bangles kept on this armature clear so this is how the current is produced in ac generator now let us compare this with fleming's rules well let us check whether our generator is obeying fleming's right hand rule okay now arrange your three fingers of your left hand sorry right hand mutually perpendicular to each other and you know this is the direction of your magnetic field your four finger so you are placing it towards that side okay and what is the motion you are you are rotating the armature like this right so you have to show the direction towards inside the board so your direction is inside the board and your magnetic field is this where is the current produced it is produced downwards clear when you rotate the uh, armature towards inside the current produced this downwards so current produced downwards see current produced is downwards and it is shown in the galvanometer and here you can see i have summed up all the working whatever i have explained in points see you can write see look at how many points are there for working see 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 points in 6 points you will be summing up the working of electric generator i'll just read out for you you can also make it a note you have to see i don't want you to just copy what is there instead what i wanted to do is 
just read once and try to write without seeing write it on your own words in your own words it doesn't you can also change few sentences here and there based on your understanding only thing what you have to take care is the meaning should not change clear yes see you have you can also write your working whatever you have done and you can post it in the comments below i can still reply you whether it's correct clear now let us see what is the working that i have written for you an electric generator consists of a rectangular coil abcd this is the rectangular coil abcd where it is placed it is placed between the poles of the magnet and you are not supposed to use the short forms what i have written here bw or not between should be written between only i have written because i have to fit in the entire explanation in one board so i have tried maintaining some short form see and also i have tried putting and there but you are not supposed to use all those things because your children were writing board exams yes the second point check the check out them the ends of the coil are connected to slip ring see in first two points i have tried to explain the diagram here okay so you have the coil here in the rectangular coil a b c d and these ends are connected to see brush 1 and brush 2 r1 and r2 r2 and this is in turn connected to the galvanometer that's what i've tried to explain there and what's the next point now i have told that when you rotate the armature see when the armature is rotated such that ab moves down here i've told first according in my explanation ab is moving down if you want you can also move cd down okay so when ab is moved down and cd is moved upwards when you apply fleming's right hand rule where is the current generated it's generated on the side cd okay see the induced the current is induced in the side cd and carried to brush b2 it's carried to brush b2 and through ring 2 you can see the deflection in the galvanometer that's your first point now i've told the next half rotation in the next point now in the next half of the rotation ab induces current see cd moves down and ab is moved upwards now the current induced at the side current is induced at the side ab through brush 1 and ring 1 and you will see the deflection in the galvanometer the opposite side first if it was towards right now it would be towards the left clear and then i have continued the points here so i have tried to explain what type of current is generated in case of ac generator thus the polarity of the current changes every half rotation correct polarity is nothing but the direction the direction of the current changes every half rotation and such a current is called as alternating current ac current or also called as alternating current write the full form alternating current so you have one more point also there if you increase the number of turns in the coil so here since this is a board we are trying to show only one coil you can also take a wire wound it again and again again and again and you can make it a thick coil the more thicker the more number of turns your coil has so much of current you will get the current that can be induced also will be more clear so that is your working and next what you have to add on is you have to add on the last point that is uses how will you write the uses where will you use ac current ac generator ac generator is used in schools it's used in uh, uh, offices it's used at homes where it's required more big big homes where they require uh, current when power is not there they can generate their own current so this is the places where ac generators are used